Hi guys, welcome to Tic Tacs and Diamond Wax. My name is Michelle, and I've got two Amazon kits that are by Diamond Art Club that we're going to do an unboxing for today. Let's start with this one. So Diamond Art Club has teamed up with Amazon to do some of their smaller kits for release through Amazon. Now I live in Canada, so I do pay an import fee for these, but they are cheaper than buying them. I don't believe you can get this one on their website. Some of them you can, some of them you can't. Um, but they do work out to be a little bit cheaper. So I pay a small import fee, I think roughly about $2 per kit, something like that. But I wanted some smaller kits because most of mine are extremely large from Diamond Art Club. So you still get the same boxing and the same branding. We know this is going to be a round due to the fact that there is a round on it. And it has a pink line on it. And the branding is all the same. And you get your how it works and our kit contents. And you still get your scan, your code for your 10% off your next purchase. So this one is Fairy Bunny by Rita Kanya. And it is a round. It is a 13 by 16 or 32.8 by 40.8 six centimeters pretty cute eh i thought it was quite sweet a little bit past easter but we'll get into this so some of them you'll get the newer toolkits and some of them you will receive the older toolkits now there is one difference that i'm going to point out when you are buying through amazon and if you were buying through diamond art club your warranty would be intact through their website. If you're buying through Amazon, you should receive a piece of paper like this in your kit. This is your warranty. So you would scan your QR code within 30 days of getting your item. So I suggest the day you get it and you open it, make sure if you're buying from Amazon, you do open it immediately. One, to check to make sure it's the proper item, and two, that you need to fill out your warranty card. This will give you your lifetime warranty on your canvas, plus your oops insurance, and everything that we expect with Diamond Art Club. So just make sure you do fill that out pretty quick so you don't forget and it doesn't get lost. And we get our sticker, Fairy Bunny. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Very, very cute. Now let's see what, now this is the newer tool kit. The only difference being in this kit, we're not gonna have tweezers because this is a round. If this was a square, you would get a pair of tweezers like these that are branded and very sharp, so be very careful. Now I personally like to have tweezers with my rounds, but that's okay. I have lots of them, so I'm okay with that. So let's check out. Now there is going to be three variations in your toolkits. The color of your pen, your cover minder, and your washi tape. Those will be varying items. Everything else will always be the same. Except if you receive an older toolkit. And let me see if I have one handy. I thought I did. Now, sometimes with Amazon ones, you can receive the older toolkit. That one simply comes with your tray. Just a straight blue pen, two pads of wax, and some baggies, and a four-placer. There are the odd one that comes with the older toolkit, but most of them are coming with the newer ones. So this would be your older style toolkit. I actually got one the other day that had, I guess, was the original tray that Diamond Art Club initially started using. And it was very similar to your Diamond Dots type tray. It was quite funny actually to see the evolution of. So we have a green pen and a green squishy in this one. Nice emerald green color. Very, very pretty. Now, if you're new to diamond painting, this will completely finish this painting without any problems. Um, you get a bag of baggies. Depending on how many colors are in this kit, there may be enough, may not be. Um, but it's good for storing your leftover drills when you're finished your painting. You will receive a caddy of wax. There are two pieces of wax in this. There is a thin little plastic coating. You're going to want to peel that back before you try and stab it. I do strongly suggest that when you are not using your wax, 
you keep it in the caddy just so that the air keeps it nice and tight and you don't dry out your wax. That can tend to last a very long time. A lot of people do use that wax and enjoy it. You will receive a seven placer and a, oh, there we go, four placer, thin plastic. Now, sometimes if you notice, there's little bits on them and obviously you don't want that up against your canvas. I just take a fine nail file and I'll just rub it across and get rid of any. Plus, after you've used these for a while, you start to notice they get little indentations in them, especially if you're a hard presser. Again, nail file over the top and you're good to go. And you receive your tray. Now this is an upgraded tray. If this is not in it when you get it, that little piece there, that is just a stopper for your tray so that your diamonds don't go at the end. Now this is a hard plastic tray. Works very well. Um, I use this if I have a lot of confetti. Um, I'll use multiple of them and I'll just use a dry erase marker and I will write the number of the color I'm using and then I can have multiple trays if I need them. The only thing that if Diamond Art Club wants a hint, make them a little bit deeper and then we're good to go. But these are a nice, definitely a nice tray to have. And then, like I said, the two random items, well, the pen will be a random color, but the two other randoms are our washi tape. Oh, that's different. I haven't had that one before. That's pretty. Very spring, summery washi tape. And our cup reminder. Oh, look at that one. We have a little, let's see if we hold them that way, if that works better. And that will have two magnets on the back. Sometimes during transport, the magnet falls off. Just a bit of super glue will stick that right back on. So with cover minders, one goes underneath your canvas. This one goes on top of your plastic. When you fold your plastic back, it will hold it in place while you're diamond painting. Just don't ever put that straight onto your canvas. Just be sure of that. Washi tape is, a lot of people use washi tape for one sectioning off their canvas or two around the pasting area, and I will show you that. So we'll move this out of our way. Now, Diamond Art Club comes in a plastic bag. Now, I did see a video yesterday. A person was storing their diamond paintings even with the plastic on the boxes, and they had some water damage, and the box sucked up some water. Because this plastic was on it, it saved the painting. So, plus it keeps it from any pet hair, dust, dirt getting to your paintings. So I do strongly suggest, if you can, keep them in here. Some people store their diamond paintings in the boxes. I do if the box is in good shape. Um, I've had some come from Amazon that are not in good shape. If they are very damaged, I will store my diamond painting in the bag and you can use this sticker to just place it on your bag if you want so you know what painting's in the bag or you can just pull it out. So you get your branding, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. These are actually very nice. Um, I must say, it's kind of, I think, unfair to call this a canvas. This is a very plush, um, velvety feeling material. It's so enjoyable to diamond paint on, I must tell you. It's very nice. It is also self-flattening. So as we start to roll this out, if we were to leave it for a little while, it would flatten itself out. But it is pour glue. So, we can flip it over and roll it back on itself. Just like that, or straighter, would probably be a little bit better. Excuse my sniffing, I have some allergies and we're in allergy weather right now. And then we just unroll it again. And as you can see, it's already starting to flatten. If we wanted to speed up that process without fully removing this plastic, what I do is I pull it back to about there, I slip my hand under, and I just go back over top. And see, we're already flat. Completely flat and ready to go. So, 
this canvas will have 41 colors. So for a canvas of this size, for 13 by 16, that's a lot of detail. A lot of detail. And we can see there's going to be some really nice, pretty details. Now with Diamond Art Clubs, anything under 150 is considered an Aurora Borealis, which is, or an AB, which is a diamond that has just an extra special coating that simulates the Northern Lights. Very, very pretty. Um, we have a green, a pink, and a white, and we'll show those to you. But let's look at the other stuff first. We get a thank you from the founder of Diamond Art Club, Angie. I think we should be thanking her because this is very enjoyable for us. You get what's included in your kit in three different languages. You get your tips and tricks. You get a code for a discount on your next purchase. There is a video if you are new to diamond painting. All you need to do is scan this QR code and it will take you to a step-by-step -step video, but there are lots of them on YouTube for beginner videos. Also, what you want to do is scan this code. This takes you to the VIP Facebook group. Wealth of information, wealth of knowledge, and an excellent discount code. So you're going to want to make sure you go there. On the very back, there is for Apple and for Android, their app that they have. Your first purchase through the app, you'll save 20%. So you will never spend full price for Diamond Art Club. There is codes everywhere. There are a few different um, people on YouTube that are affiliates with Diamond Art Club. So if it is your first time purchase, make sure you go check around to see who has an affiliate code that will save you on your first purchase. It saves you quite a bit. We get her big sticker. Yes. There, we get to see that artwork there. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. That is so cute. And you get the name of your painting, Fairy Bunny, the artist, which is Rita Kanya, the start date and your end date. It's a round and the size, and then the skew. So if you ever have any problems, Diamond Art Club's going to ask you this number right here. So they're going to be able to correlate it with your painting and be able to get you the correct things that you may need. So these are all pre-cut stickers, which is awesome. So when you're cut, when you're kitting up, it makes it very, very simple to kit up. Plus there's some extra ones there too, which are nice to have. So I usually cut straight down here, use this for my kitting up, and keep this part for my logbook. That lets me allow to keep the artist's name, the name of the painting, and all the information on it. And let's look at our diamonds. Now, one neat thing is if you do store your paintings and your diamonds separately, they have this right here. And this will tell you the name of the painting and the serial number. So we know, okay, we can match it. And I'll show you on the canvas where to match it to. Plus it matches to this one. So you can always cross check to make sure that you have the correct diamonds for that kit. Um, I do suggest if you keep these separately from time to time you go back and you cross check to make sure you haven't misplaced something along the way. I have done that and misplaced things. So we're going to just take a quick tour over our canvas before we show you our diamonds in place. So we have branding at the top of the canvas. Do what makes you sparkle diamond art club. Also you're going to notice this is scallop and surged at the top so that means it, it will not fray at any point in time. We have a legend that goes right down the left side and one that goes all the way down the right side. At the bottom of our canvas, we have our pasting area. So that means where you lay your diamonds. There again is the name of the painting and that number. The size of our painting, the artist's name, and Diamond Art Club. Which this means here is that Diamond Art Club paid this person for this image. Very important. If you'd like to show your artwork, Diamond Art Club asks that you use the hashtag, hashtag Diamond Art Club to show it off. Absolutely. There's another discount code at the bottom. There is the Facebook group there and also Instagram. I strongly suggest that you look at their Instagram on Friday afternoons because that will tell you what the drops are on Saturday. Diamond Art Club does their new releases Saturday mornings. So you're going to want to see what the preview is the day before. And this is your lifetime warranty. So as long as you don't seal the painting or you don't give it away, 
you have to be the original owner for you can give it away but just have the person that you're giving it to fill out that form but if you were to fill it out then give it away that would void the warranty okay if you have any problems you go to the support at diamondartclub.com and they will help you right away and let me tell you they are very quick very very quick i had a question regarding an order and within about five minutes i had an answer so and as we see i'll show you the symbols on this are so clean and clear you're not going to have any problems at all seeing these symbols let's look at the eyes and the face see how clear those are so we have one two and three is going to be our a b's so one of them is going to be in here that green and i'll show you what it's going to look like but this is where we're going to find that green the two is a pink and it's going to be scattered through the flowers and again i'll show you that one and our third one is a white and that's going to be in the whiskers and through up here and scattered through the bunny's face and the whiskers so that should be very very pretty now sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a regular and an ab because oops, I dropped them. sometimes they sparkle so much sorry i just had the tactical team drive by nosy minds want to know um but yes diamond art club's drills are almost perfection look at the colors in that they have such a re rich deep pigment in their colors they're absolutely stunningly beautiful so i'm going to open this up so if you don't like the crinkle i'll do it as fast as i can don't want to lose that that's important so we can look at our, our diamonds that start on, oh, we have a road pack. So this is 3865. Now just by looking at those diamonds, we can see they are a beautiful quality. Absolutely beautiful quality. Now you may notice the odd one will have a hole in the top or a small um, divot or something in it. That's what we'll consider trash, but Diamond Art Club makes sure that they allot for trash. When you're getting resin diamonds, unfortunately, sometimes they do have the odd air bubble in them, just the way that they sit. Um, but they allot for that by giving you 20 to 30% more. So you're definitely going to have plenty of diamonds. Go ahead and pick those ones out. You don't have to use them. And if you run out, just contact their support and they'll send you more. Now, just by looking at these ones, I'm actually seeing quite a few that are divoted in the tops. A lot of holes in these. I wouldn't normally spend this much time, but I'm seeing a lot in this one bag. So this might be a bag. Now I do have plenty of spares. This might be a bag I might have a little issue with, but we'll see. Now, let's take a look. Now, if I look at these, darker colors, you can really tell. They look really good. I'm not seeing the same thing at all. So, that is our colors. Aren't they gorgeous colors? Absolutely stunningly beautiful colors in this. So, let's look for that ABs that we have. Now, Diamond Cl Art Club... You may notice if you buy a budget kit, usually the drills are one, two, in this case, 41. You would have 41 bags that would start at one and at 41. They go by weight with them in our club. So whatever package has the largest amount will be the first one on your train. So when you're kitting up, just be aware of these numbers here and cross check those numbers to your legend okay because that doesn't necessarily mean it's number one okay that's 327 so for me 327 is actually number 11 so just make sure you're aware of that when you're going through your diamonds so like i said they go by weight so you'll notice that as we sort of go through the bags do get smaller and smaller 
And there is our first AB. Let's see if I can get a good look at it. That is the white AB. Very pretty. See that extra little bit of coating to make it shine on there? This one sort of gives you a rainbow effect on the whites. And like I said, that's going to scatter through there and be on the whiskers and the front of this base. So that's going to really pop out. And there's just a few in the flowers. So that's going to be very, very pretty. That's going to make those whiskers pop right out. All right. And our next AB would be... Let's see here. Right there we have one. That is our pink AB. Oh, isn't that cute? That's very pretty. Very pretty. That sort of really gives you a good idea if you can see that guy, what kind of coating was on him. There you go. And so that is going to go in through our roses. And then we have one more. And there isn't much of them, so I'm expecting he'll be near the end. And that's that green. And like I said, if you look, I really probably could count how many I'm going to need. 22. Well, I know there's way more than 22 of them there. So they've given me plenty of extra in case there's anything. So you can be picky with what you're going to put down on your canvas. You don't have to worry. They always, always, always give you... Oh, we have a, a rogue square. A rogue square drill came flying out. They must have did a square one before they printed this one. Now, these are all printed. Um, the drills are made in the United States at Diamond Art Club's factory. So, all of this is made in the United States. It's not shipped from China. And then done. It's all done in their factories. Oh, we have a hitchhiker in that one. That's the only one I'm a little concerned about. But I'll take a deeper look at it after the fact and see if it is going to cause me some problems. So that is our fairy bunny. All right, let's get on to our next guy. And I'll get those drills put away after. This one I was looking forward to. Fuchsia Hummingbird. Right now I'm actually doing Jody Bergsma's Friendship. And it is hummingbirds. And it is stunningly beautiful. So this one is done by Jeff Allen. It's a round. It's a 13 by 20 or a 32.8 by 50.7. So not really small. And we know that it is a round because again, we have our round and our pink line. If this was a square, this line would be blue and there'd be a blue box. And again, the branding is the same, how it works and our code on the side. And actually looking forward to this one. There we go. Our toolkit. Again, our warranty card. And there we go. So there is our sticker. Fuchsia Hummingbird. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I want to crack into that one. And again, please fill out your warranty cards. Don't leave. If you have ordered from Amazon, make sure you double check it before the 30 days are up so you get your warranty. I don't want you to miss out on that. We're just going to check this one to see what we got as our washi tape and cover minder. We again got a green pen. Now for me, because I do have a lot of pens... What I do is I just take the top out and keep that part and donate these parts to schools for, they use them for painting. So I only keep the placers and I don't know why because I use a forever placer. Again, some more bags, a wax, a little bit of wax, another squishy, more multi-placers. We love those too, don't we? Another tray. Ooh, that one's pretty. That's gorgeous. How about that one? Oh, that is really pretty. I don't know if I have that one. 
And our cover reminder is a little bunny. A little crystal bunny. He's cute. Okay, I don't collect cover reminders, though. A lot of people do. I don't. I have one. And it's... Um, the Tears of My Enemy, and it's a spray bottle. Yeah, that's the only one I ever use. I don't know why. Let's open this guy up. And again, our dust cover. Now, someone did mention these dust covers have holes in them. I believe it's for airflow, I think. Um, but they also mentioned maybe putting pieces of tape over these air holes if you're worried about water damage. I don't know if it'll protect it or not, but it's something that I'll just pass along because it was brought up after someone had severe water damage on their paintings. Actually, their boxes. All right, let's unroll this one. Now, I may have to... Nope, oh, luckily for me, it's going to go the right direction. Oh my goodness gracious. I might have to turn it for you. But I want you to be able to see the whole thing. Just let me roll this real quick so I can flatten it out. So, how is the weather where you are today? Is it nice out? Is, today it is raining. And that's okay because we probably need a bit of rain. But it's not really warm yet here. I live in eastern Canada, and we're still in the cold. So that is our painting. Isn't that pretty? I can't get it all. I've got a new camera mount coming. So I'll be able to shoot these a little bit better for you. Maybe if I turn her sideways, you'll get a better angle of the picture. There we go. Sorry, I don't mean to make you tilt your neck. So again, we have our branding at the top. We have our legend down this side and our legend down this side. And I'm seeing something interesting here. So we have three ABs on this one, but I'm going to tell you about that one in a minute because there's something fun there. Again, our little pamphlet. After you've been with them for a while, you kind of don't really care about seeing them anymore. But And we have our big sticker. Let's bring that up to you so you can see that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't want to show that part. And again, we have our stickers that are nice and pre-cut. So, like I said, anything under 150, that is the color code, is considered an Aurora Borealis. So we have 111, 127, and 141. So we know that's an AB. But if we go down here, we have number 53 and number 54 have a letter before them. A Z or a Z, depending on where you're from. Z165 and Z907. So that's going to tell me it's either going to be a fairy dust, electro, or what's the other one? Iridescent, I think. So let's take a peek. Come on, I'm curious what they are. Ooh, look at the color, color, colors. Oh, 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 it's fairy dust. One of them's a fairy dust. You may want to pick this kid up. Just saying. All right. Now, let's see what is the symbol. N and J. I'm just going to see if I can scan this real quick. Ends are down in this area here. There's lots of ends. And through here, so lots of those ends. Up here, anywhere where you see a lot of that green, that's sands. So the other one I did not mention about color blocking and confetti. That one, the bunny has more of a good mix. You'll find with this, you've got color blocking. Definitely have color blocking. But you are going to have a bit more confetti when you have flowers and such. Because that's what gives them their depth. Then I see our number 2AB, which is a pale pink. So that's going to go in the flowers. But we're going to show you. And then we have Jay. Where's that Jay going to go on? Oh, in the bird. In this hummingbird is going to be that Jay. So when we get to that Jay, we're going to find out. And then we have a white. So anywhere you see white, that's going to be an AB. And the number one is going to go. Let's see, where can we find the number one? 
It's pink. We know it's pink. We think. Yeah, she's pink. Line down the line. Oh, right in here. And oh, there has to be more than that. Oh, and up in this flower up here. So let's dig in and see. All right. Look at the colors in this. Isn't that pretty? There's some beautiful colors. So, again, we know from weight what's going to be the most and goes down. So, we've got pretty, pretty blue there. And then we have like a mustardy green. But then, look what we found. Let's see. Can you see it? Z or Z. Oh, there we go. 907. There's one of our special drills right at the beginning. That is a fairy dust. That has a slight, almost like a mica powder effect to the top of the diamond. Makes it really stunningly beautiful. But there's a lot of that there. Lots and lots and lots. And then we have beautiful 600, 828, 601, 915, 581, 3607. Isn't that pretty? My God, it's bright. 718, 3813, 3761, 937, 3740, 321. Ooh, that's pretty too. 772. Ooh, I like that one. 703, 966, 3608, and 355. Now, I will say, just so you do know, once in a while you will find a big bag at the beginning, but you may also find a smaller bag closer to the end. So if you do see the number twice, it's just because the weight was in one bag and then they sort of followed it up with another one. I have come across that before, so I thought I would mention that. Oh, wow. That is our number one AB. Look at that color. Wow, that's stunning. That is a stunning AB. And like I said, that is going to go through our flowers. And our flowers. That's going to be so, so pretty. Then we have 936, 841, 3756, 3346. There is our other one that's special. That is J. So there's another fairy dust. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so let's take a quick peek. Our J's are in here too. This is going to have so much detail and punch to it. It's going to be amazing. Utterly amazing. Look at that. You see that fairy dust on it? That light little shimmer. And oh, we skipped over. 433, 436. 964. What is your favorite DMZ color? 898, 3064, 3859, 3609, and 666. So we don't have very much 666 in there. Just a little bit. Wow, three trains already. And we have 702, 3790, 127. There's our other AB. That pale peachy pink color, and that is our number two. So that is going to go. Where did we say that one went again? Pale pink, pale pink. Oh, and goes into here, into the flowers, and into the birds, and down here. Then we have 3854, 3772. 647152 and there's our last AB, a white AB. And you see that there's white here and white here. And a little smatters of whites all over the place. Then we have 935, 598, 503, 948, 3855, 498, 341, 334, 336, 
310. Now that's not bad for 310, guys. Not bad at all. And 938 with the hitchhiker. But let's take a look at our blacks on this one. Because usually with the darker colors, you can see the quality. These look really nice. Now I know they're always upgrading their drills, especially the squares. Um, I think they're now up to 20 facets. I think there was some confusion. People were saying 26. It's actually 20. So we are lucky because this one has a huge amount of fairy dust in it. I am so excited. I cannot wait because that is going to be stunning. That whole thing is going to be fairy dust all down there. Let's move these over. All down here, this is all going to be that fairy dust. That's going to be so pretty. Look at the colors in this. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the symbol clarity. You can see how nice and clean it is and clear. And all those ends that you're seeing, that's that fairy dust right there. So that's how we here. Let me turn it the right way for us. So you're not having to crank your neck there. But all those ends, I'm on top of my drills, there we go. All those ends that we're seeing there, that's all fairy dust. Yeah, all of it. It's a lot. And fairy dust diamonds are very easy to put down. They're not, sometimes Aurora Borealis diamonds can be a little bit tricky. But the fairy dust go down the same way. So that is the stunning fuchsia hummingbird doesn't disappoint does it she's beautiful i just wish i could put her this way for you tomorrow i will, will be able to film that way for you and i do have two or three more diamond art clubs coming plus i'm going to show you all the ones that i already have in my collection from amazon just to give you a round idea of what you can get on amazon so I wanted to check their quality. Looks pretty good to me. Doesn't look much different than if you're buying straight from the company. So I'm pretty happy about that. So I must say, I cannot wait to get into this, but I do have other projects that have to come before this one, sadly. I wish I could jump right into this guy because he looks like he would be a fun one. And it's definitely a good size for working on. Definitely a good project size. All right, guys, I thank so much for visiting me today and checking these out with me and drooling over drills. You have a wonderful day. Thanks very much. Like always, keep playing with your Tic Tacs and Diamond Wax. Bye-bye.